Have you ever had an idea pop into your head and wonder, could I create that in Canva? Let me see if I can get my idea into reality and I will show you how I did that. So the first step is to get your word the way you want it. And then what you want to do is you want to go up here to your spacing. So what you want to do is go to your letter spacing and space them out, not closer, but wider. There's a reason for that. So once you get your word in place, I don't have pro, so I can't use background remover. So what I'm going to do is I am going to download this file. Now that I've taken it over to the background remover, what I'm going to do is we're going to delete this one and then I'm going to upload the version I've gotten with my background remover. Now, once that's loaded into here, what I want to do is go into edit image and go down to my smart mockups. And what I want to do from there is I want to go and find one that has an angle to it and see if I like that angle. So let's see what we have here. I think before I used the laptop one because this looked like it had a really good angle to it. It looks a little choppy in there, but this is just a tutorial. We can work that out at a different time. What I want to do is crop this down to get to the point where the hello is the biggest part in here. Let's see, can I flip this? Let's flip it and see. No, we don't want to flip it. But that's okay. And then I'm going to turn this into black. And I'm going to download that. And I'm going to take it to my background remover and I'll be right back. So my background remover didn't like that I had too much of the photo in there. So I tightened up my little, tightened it up a little bit and re-downloaded it. So now that I've got my original picture done and the background removed, I will put this back up here. So now I have my word on an angle. And it's nice and tight on here. So to get the falling effect, what I want to do now is I want to tighten up all this space just to make it easier. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And so after that, what I want to do is I want to make three copies of this. So I'm going to go one, no, two copies, excuse me, two. So... The reason I want three is because I'm going to need both sides. So I want to kind of even all three of those up on top of each other just so I can make sure the placement is okay. So I go one, two, three. So the first one, I think I'm going to do the middle L. So I'm going to do the HE. And then I'm going to do one where I move it over. And then it's going to be the LO. And then we'll move those back over. And then we'll take this center one out. Like so. And we just will go and have the L. And then what you want to do is you want to flip it. To where it kind of looks like it fell out so you want to kind of line it up to where it fell like so if you want to do the whole word back out so it'll make sure it looks even and then come back in and take the L out you can do that also um, if you want to do another thing we'll duplicate it like this and then do it like this and you want a little like 
shadow effect. We can go in here and take this one and kind of lighten it up a little bit. If you want to, let's, let's move this, do this, and get that little piece of that other L out. Do like this, line it up here, go and edit image for the big one, go into your adjust, give it some blur to kind of make it look like that. And then what I did is I went into pictures to the photos and I wound up, I found this girl right here. I went and removed the background. And so I had a flipped. So, and you can use her in here and place her wherever you would like to kicking, kicking it down, or you could find some other thing. I also used the little guy pushing the letters or, um, I found another foot, you know, whatever you want to use for that. Um, I hope this helped you out, you guys, and I appreciate you stopping by and looking at my tutorial. Uh, much love. Appreciate. Please subscribe, like. It helps me with the algorithm. Um, happy designing, and hopefully we can design again. Thank you.